Machine learning in tech is fundamentally different from machine learning in biology because most of human biology is still unknown. That's to say, there's a huge missing data problem. And we encountered this problem when we actually were looking at the data sets available, and we saw that these data sets were vastly underpowered and poorly designed and could not be used for machine learning. And what's important here is that the sophistication of your algorithms is irrelevant if you don't have enough data from which to train and to learn. So we embarked on this two-year internal data generation initiative where we now generate all of our own proprietary patient data sets. And we do this by partnering with over a dozen different hospitals, brain banks, and universities to actually source thousands of patient brains after they've died, and we sequence that internally to create now one of the largest patient training data sets in the world for ALS and Parkinson's disease. But while training data is really important for generating predictions, for every AI company, you need to have validation data. So we take all of these predictions and we actually test them in our biology labs to create a huge body of validation data that feeds back into the algorithms and constantly improves them over time and across diseases as well. And this is critical for any company in AI and biology because AI cannot be a black box in biology. You need to have a way to actually see if the predictions work and to let those predictions guide the improvement of the actual algorithms themselves. <laughs>